The Rapid Force Duty Holster. Secure. Fast. Durable. Is this the best level 3 holster on the market? To dive in, I'm not an elite special operations member, and I consider myself to be an average shooter. I've always been a fan of action films, and the majority of my YouTube content thus far is movie and video game adjacent. This is different. I've been using the Rapid Force Duty holster in a law enforcement setting for the past six months. I've been so impressed with it that I felt it warranted its own video. So what is the Rapid Force Duty holster? Who is it for, and why should you care? Put simply, the Rapid Force Duty holster is the fastest and most natural level 3 holster I've used to date. If you're not familiar with retention holsters, you have passive retention, which is friction-based, level 2, which is typically a single internal lock, and level 3, which has both the internal lock and an external hood. I've previously been issued level 3 Safari Lens holsters, and despite training, I've never felt confident that I can execute the draw quickly and consistently. I've tried third-party modifications like the Nub Mod, which has helped, however there have still been times when I've been standing there struggling to effectively draw. Like thousands of others, a while back I saw the YouTube video of Milspec Mojo drawing from his Alien Gear Rapid Force, and I knew then the product had merit. Alien Gear's take on the Level 3 holster utilizes what they call the Gross Motor Response Retention Control System, which upon the draw allows the user to form a natural grip. I ordered one and decided I'd put in the time to give it an honest chance. Now, I can confidently say that unless policy dictates or a new alternative that surpasses the rapid force is released, I plan to continue to use it. So, who should buy the Rapid Force? I think it's clear from the marketing and those that promote it that the target demographic is law enforcement and military use. That said, I think those in the competition scene shouldn't sleep on this product. I can see this holster being a great tool for two or three gun matches, Milsim Airsoft, or any event where retention is needed. I can't stress enough that the draw is so natural and so fast that it really opens up the use to countless applications. Plus, Alien Gear makes the purchasing process simple. They offer several models and attachments, from belt slide, paddle, molly, to drop leg. The website is easy to maneuver, the drop-down tabs are straightforward and simple to operate. After months of use, my only complaint has been that the XL optic hood does not accommodate the Aimpoint Acro P2. Alien Gear lists the Acro among compatible optics but does not specify that the second generation Acro is slightly too large. That said, the customer service department has been top notch in assisting with returns and item swapping. Something to consider is that many departments require the use of the Axon signal, which pairs with the Axon body camera and detects when a firearm is drawn. In the future, I would like to see a mounting bracket released for the Axon signal, if not direct from Alien Gear or Axon, then possibly via a third party manufacturer. So, why should you care? Well, to get serious for a moment, to those in law enforcement and military, speed and retention matters. YouTube doesn't tolerate graphic content, so I'll be brief. Getting into the fight and optimizing your draw is important. When seconds count, I want the best and most effective tool on my side. And for me, that is currently the Rapid Force.
Thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video or have thoughts on the Rapid Force Duty holster, leave a comment below and we'll see you next time.